What up YouTube, this is MWS. Uh, I'm going to do a video on how to flash a Hitachi 79 drive. I get a lot of people asking me questions on how to do it. Uh, people afraid to do Hitachis. You see people advertising, we'll do every drive except for Hitachis or light-ons or they try to charge you extra to do those type of drives. Um, I'm going to just show you how easy it is to do. Um, a new uh, jungle flasher just came out, the 1.65 beta. I went ahead and downloaded it and I'm going to go ahead and uh, put a mega upload link um, on the side of my video so everybody can download it. I'm going to go ahead and double click on it, open up the jungle flasher. Um, basically how you know it's a 79 drive is by taking the drive out, reading the top of it. Every drive has a number on it when it comes to the Hitachi. Right there you can kind of see if the video focuses in a little bit better, it'll say 79 FL drive. There's about nine different Hitachi drives and they all have the number at the very top so any any person with any type of uh, reading or comprehension skills can figure it out themselves. I get a lot of people, well what type of drive do I have? How do I know? You look at the top, it's very simple. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the correct tab, the Hitachi GDR3120 tab. And right here it has a row of different drives, the 40, the slash 32, the 36, the 47, slash 46, 59, 58, 79, 78. The first thing that you need to do, uh, if you're going to flash a Hitachi 79, you want to click on this little link right here. This little link is going to open up an ISO. No, oh, it's, it's actually going to download the ISO for you automatically. You're going to double click on that uh, image file, and if you have Neuro on your computer, boom, it's going to pop right in Neuro. It's going to ask you if you want to burn it, you burn it. I'd recommend everybody put it on a regular CD. This is a 79 Hitachi audio CD that you need to unlock this particular type of drive. It automatically just downloads for you, burns for you. Very easy, very simple to do. Uh, if you can't do it yourself, you're a fucking moron. Excuse my language, but it's very simple. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my CK3 uh, kit right here. Turn it on. I'm going to go ahead and eject the drive. I'm going to throw the 79 CD directly in the drive tray. As you can see there, it's in the drive. Kit's connected, powered on. Uh, you don't have to t click it on mode B and you got to wait to see the blue light on it. Uh, all that stuff's covered in Jungle Flasher. They just made it so simple that anybody can do start flashing if you really have the time and a couple extra bucks. Uh, right now, it's not uh, detecting my drive because normally you're supposed to start it up with the drive connected, but I did it the opposite way. So I'm going to just go ahead, go ahead on and click on drop down. Click on my main via card. As you can see, it popped up with all the information. Uh, firmware revision 0079. You got yourself a 79 drive. First thing you want to click on is click on send to mode B. Uh, it gives you some jargon here, some bullshit. Wait 15 seconds. Just turn your probe, just turn your kit off. Hit OK. You're going to see some dots fill up at the very bottom of the screen. Uh, wait a couple seconds. You can count to five. Turn it back on, the drive is going to eject right back in automatically by itself. All right. Okay, right down there it's saying that it found a Hitachi. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click on 79 unlock. It's going to read that CD. Matter of seconds, pop it right back out like it did right there. The CD is right back out. Now you're ready to go. Um, in some of the older videos, you would see people click on uh, dump drive and they would do all of that. You go straight to flash um, with iExtreme. Uh, before I move on, I just want to show you a little uh, tip or something that you guys can do. Um, some people get all the 79 um, files or iExtreme firmware and just dump them all in the same drive for it to automatically uh, upload, or you can uh, pick out whatever 79 whatever 79 firmware that you actually need. You can just dump it all or you can get one of them out. It doesn't matter so long as you have the correct one. If you don't have the correct one, don't worry. It's just going to error out. It won't go through any further. So right there, as you can see, I have every single 79 uh, firmware in there. I'm feeling lazy right now. I don't feel like pulling out the correct one for the 79 FL. Just wanted to show you that real quick. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Flash, um, Flash I Extreme. Flash hack firmware. Here's a little tab and it's going to start the process up for me. It's dumping the flash, reading the drive. Alright, so I'm going to save it to my desktop. I already created a folder. It's uh, the YouTube folder, of course, because I'm doing the video for you guys out there. Um, 
It loaded everything. It says flash stability test report stable. Do you wish to continue? Um, it basically, after you click yes, it saves the firmware for you. Um, it loads the custom firmware for you. It spoofs the drive for you. It does everything. And right here you can see a sector list. This is why Hitachis are slightly different because they have different sectors that need to be individually flashed. You want to hit yes to continue. And it's going to go through the sectors hella quick. Dumping flash. Flash complete. It's been verified. It's been done. Uh, for people who thought flashing Hitachis took a long time or is extremely hard, it only takes seconds. Uh, I sure I, I'm sure I wasted more time talking on this video than actually flashing this drive. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'm going to save the, uh, the little WordPad file, and it's done. Thank you, YouTube. I hope you guys give me some, uh, some stars or some points or some, give me some feedback, ask me some questions, whatever you guys want to know. I'm here to help you guys. I enjoy doing this, so I'm going to keep on making videos. Whenever something new comes out, I'm going to put up another video. I'm out.